So if you're looking for a side hustle or even a full-time hustle, then this video is for you. There are people out there right now that are absolutely killing it, leveraging the power of AI. And that's because there are tons of ways you can use AI to basically print money. But today, I wanna show you one of the easiest businesses you can start and begin making money without really any experience needed. There are millions of businesses and organizations around the globe that need logos to represent their brand, but don't really have a go-to source for the creation. And so that is where you can come in and increase your income with very little work. Today, you're gonna learn how to make AI your workhorse and do all the heavy lifting for you while you sit back and enjoy the profits. If you find any value in this video, please be sure to hit that like button and let's just go ahead and jump in. So creating logos with AI is actually pretty quick and easy. And so I'm gonna show you how to create the logos using AI, but I'm also gonna tap in on where you can find customers. There is a substantial need for this service, and I should know, I mean, because since 2010, my company, Aero Marketing, has provided a variety of internet marketing services to businesses of all sizes, and logo creation has been very profitable for us. And so you can take advantage of this need without the exhaustive efforts of designing a logo on your own. Great, right? Okay, so there are a few tools out there that can be used for the actual creation process, but the place you wanna start is with a good prompt. I mean, the better you can describe to AI what you want, the better the finished product will look. So if you're inclined, I mean, you could try to detail a prompt on your own. However, for me, I'm trying to do as little work as possible, so I'm gonna use AI to tell AI how to create my logo. And to do this, I'm gonna use an AI prompt generator. Now, when it comes to AI prompt generators, there are a bunch of options out there, some free, some paid. For example, if you have ChatGPT+, you can enable the plugin Photorealistic and allow Chat to dictate a prompt for you. Here's a C prompt I started with. I'm looking for a modern and professional logo for a moving company. That's it, that's all I put in there. Within seconds, I mean, chat with the help of Photorealistic, shout out two great prompts that specified various aspects of the logo and even gave details on sizing, which was really, really cool. Um, now, we're gonna use this prompt in just a minute, but first, if you don't have ChatGPT Plus and you don't have access to Photorealistic, I wanna show you a free option that can get you in the game head over to the AI art prompt generator on exquisitive.com. I'll put a link in the description. Um, again, there are other prompt generators out there, so feel free to use any one you like, but uh, I just wanna show you this one. But here, I'm gonna enter the same seed prompt I used earlier, and just like photorealistic, I received a few great options. So, armed with a few potential prompts, the next step is to try it out somewhere. Now, um, Stable Diffusion and Dolly 2 are both great options for creating AI graphics. They're awesome, but when it comes to specifically logo creation, I prefer Midjourney. Now, Midjourney is, is well known for its wide spectrum of AI generated art. I mean, if you go to their showcase page, I mean, you'll see how powerful this machine really is. Um, and Midjourney is free to try out, but after something like 25 renderings, um, you'll need to purchase one of their subscription plans that start out at around $10 per month. Hopefully, I mean, maybe you can make some money with their free plan, but if not, you know, $10 a month is a small price to pay for such a big potential game. Now, if you've never used Midjourney, just know their machine runs through Discord. So you'll actually need to log into Discord and then connect to Midjourney to use their rendering engine. And you know what? If you get stuck, you can always visit their support page to learn more about using their technology. Now, once you've joined their Discord, you'll wanna go to one of their newcomer rooms um, to begin entering your prompts. But once you establish an account with them, you can basically start using their general channels. Now, I mean, you can literally just copy and paste the prompts you created earlier, but you will need to enter the image command first. So just remember that. And quick side note, um, once you jump into one of their image generating rooms, you may notice a feed of other images like constantly being created at the same time. Don't worry, this is normal and this is how their rendering engine works. 
Great, so here we go. I mean, um, I'm gonna start with the prompt I received from the photorealistic plugin in ChatGPT. And after I enter the prompt, I mean, the system will take a few seconds to create my images, so let's be patient. Um, and look, here we are, look at this, nice. Midjourney provided me with some serious solid options. By default, the image prompt will give you four options to choose from, and from there, I mean, you can kind of decide on the next steps. Again, I was looking for a modern and professional logo for a moving company, and I actually feel like all four of these could work. Um, I really like the contrast of that mustard and green one right there, but overall, I like option number four the best. Um, this logo will look nice on a website and social media, but also, I mean, this is a logo that could be printed on a t-shirt or embroidered on a work uniform. Um, so this, this could actually work. Now, if I were unhappy with all of them, I can hit the redo button like right here and then rerun the machine and see what other options it can give me. And you know what? Since that's available, let's check it out. Let's see what else. Let's see what other options we can come up with. Um, so here's what the redo gave me. Again, nice. I like it. Uh, similar because of the prompt, but definitely different from our first run. Um, I mean, these are really great too. I mean, from this batch, I'd probably go with number two, but I think I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go back to our original one. I kind of like that one the best. Um, so I'm really excited to move on to our next step to wrap up this logo. But first, I wanna try the prompt we received from that other prompt generator. Okay, here we are. And you know what, not bad. Um, in terms of artistic quality, we could possibly do something with these, but for what I'm really looking for, um, again, I'm going to go with that, that first one from the first set. Now, below the images, you will see a U1 through U4 and a V1 through V4. Uh, v stands for variation. So like if you like one, but want to like process a small variation, you can make that selection and U stands for upscale. So if there's a particular image you wanna run with, you could just hit U and its corresponding number to get a higher quality image. So for me, again, I like number four, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit U4 to upscale item number four. Boom, and there we have it. Um, there's my upscaled image with the, you know, you can tell a little more detail added. I like this. I can then click the image and then hit the open in browser button to get the largest version of my image possible. And from there, I mean, all you have to do is just right click it and then save the image. Simple, simple. Now, you may have noticed one small issue. The name, right? I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And you know what? Besides that, that's not even the company's name. And besides that, I actually think we can do better with that font anyways. Um, so from here, we take our downloaded image over to Canva and use their tools to finalize our logo. So in Canva, I'm gonna start by creating a new design. And I'm gonna choose a rectangular dimension, which in pixels is 1920 by 1080. Next, I'm gonna go to uploads and upload my logo design, and then add it to the canvas. Now from here, I can either crop out the name or I can use an element the same color as the background to cover up the name. You know what, both will, both will get me there. Uh, next, I'm gonna choose text and then search their available text. Here, I mean, I can use something plain or one of their stylized options. For this logo, I'm, I'm gonna choose something like more simple um, because that looks more modern to me. Um, and here we go. I mean, I found this font here is called Collective for the company name and this font here called Roboto for the uh, secondary font. And that's basically it. I mean, it's ready to go. Look at this thing, it's, it's awesome. Um, the last step is to click share and then save the logo as an image file like a PNG or like a JPEG to send it off to the client. I mean, easy, right? Super easy. Now, this logo could be sold as is and could fetch a nice payday in my opinion, but you could easily upsell this and offer a complete branding kit that includes, you know, a chosen color palette and includes maybe a, a business card design and letterhead and so on and so on. I mean, there, there are tons of possibilities that can be born from this one design. But now that you know how to create the logo, I want to give you a few ideas on where you can find buyers for your services. Now, if you're planning to do this as a part-time gig just for some extra cash, I would leverage like a gig platform like Fiverr or like a freelancing platform like Upwork. Now, I know, I know, Fiverr, 
got famous for having gigs for $5. But since then, I mean, the platform has completely evolved and buyers have realized that quality costs much, much more than $5. So, I mean, you can still make some good money on Fiverr. But the good thing about promoting your services on Fiverr or Upwork is the access to their built-in audience. I mean, there are buyers already going to those platforms looking for these services. So utilizing gig sites and freelancing sites is a great way to start. Now, if you're looking to build like a full-time business, then I would recommend a combination of social media marketing and in-person networking. Um, there are like local networking events happening all around you at all times and it's a great way to meet new business owners that could benefit from your services. But I would combine that effort with a healthy social media presence. I mean your social media account could be something that potential clients can view and see that like you're just you're a tangible business. It gives you an opportunity to showcase your ability and add credibility to what you're doing. But I mean, let me know your thoughts. I mean, how would you go about promoting a service like this? Please let me know in the comments. Also, what unique ways are you using AI? Please also let me know in the comments. And lastly, I wanna thank you for your time. Your time is so valuable to me, so I do hope you found value. And until next time, 